Mm, I think probably the thing I most practice would be like the discipline of it, which is like to say like as much as there are times where you're just not going to be inspired and that's something good to do, I do think it is also like a muscle that can be trained and like get, when I was at music college like all of these people would be practicing classical violin like 14 hours a day until their fingers are numb or whatever and I was like right okay I want to take this and do it in my thing because I'm definitely not that but like if I could like apply this school of thought to writing and producing and stuff because it's so a muscle and it's amazing to me how constantly like it surprises me even though I find myself saying this like Let's say you're feeling super uninspired for a whole week and you've already made the drum kits and the sounds and you're still sat there like, find games, ways of making a game, like set a timer that's like 30 minutes and say you have to make a song that samples this song or whatever, or close your eyes and touch the Spotify screen and sample whatever song you've touched, or a million different things, or go around the room you're in and record every sound you can see and make a song out of that. If you make a song when you're in a state of feeling really uninspired and you keep doing that, let's say you have a whole week of feeling really uninspired, but you keep powering through it, you will make something that's good, probably. And then that means that next time you're feeling dry and like, oh, I've got nothing left, you'll be like, oh, but you see this sketch you did on that day that you felt a bit rubbish. That did actually then become something you really liked. And like this, I have to learn this lesson over and over again. Like literally a few weeks ago, we were finishing a, a record and it was like absolute, everyone was at the end of their inspiration for it. And we got, so many good things, wrote three new great songs for it, finished loads of good ones, and the whole thing felt a bit just like But we were all very much the school of thought of like, come on, let's get this done, let's fall back on our like, we've been practicing 10,000 hours for these moments where you just have to like, rely on your instinct and your technical whatever. And then it's, there's a million other reasons why you're not feeling inspired, and then you hear the things in two weeks and you're like, oh, Great, so the, which is a great moral of the story, because if the moral of the story is, we'll just carry on, if you think it's shit, you're, you could well be wrong, you might as well carry on. That's a way better moral of the story than if it's like every time you think it's shit, you're right and just stop. Because that's so not, it's not that simple, and I don't think it ever has been. So I think that's a really long-winded way of saying that to like hone the muscle of the discipline of doing it and enjoying just like putting it down, edit later, put it down, edit it later, and getting it out of you.